traders this is dad trader here and today is february 8th and we're going to be talking about trading tsla tesla intraday with big short uh, we're going to talk about watching pd using leverage funds as proxies like tsll tsls tsl tsly and tslt i should just make my own etf for tesla right um and so a few things to keep in mind is like when you're trading for Tesla is it's like we're, we always want to look for value. When, when I say that, we, we want to look for the dip or look for kind of a low place to buy Tesla and sell into a pop. Um, I, you know, I've been trading Tesla for a long time. It's very tempting to buy Tesla as it rages higher. Um, but the higher it rages and the faster it rages, oftentimes um, you'll find yourself trapped in a trade as the all of a sudden Tesla reverses quickly on you. So the best, uh, the best, you know, way to trade Tesla is to really look at the dip, buy into the dip, you know, set your RR really, really tight on that dip and then sell into the rip. Um, and I would also m mention that it is really difficult to trade uh, TSLA because it has about a 50 cent range for every five minute ca candle. So, Regardless of where you buy in to a candle, you um, will expect there to be quite a bit of range there within that candle, and sometimes that can lead to people and even even myself getting shook out. But let's it's enough about philosophy. Let's take a look at some shorts with big uh, short. Uh, I want to take a look actually at today, um, and not TS. TSLY, but TSLA. So what we're looking at is a chart here in big short. Make this a little clearer for you. And we'll talk a little bit about where I took entry today and where I sold into and why and, and what were some of my observations using this tool. Um, so the white dotted line represents where Tesla opened, which was right here at about 189-ish. Um, and just like yesterday, the previous day, Tesla dipped on open. And what I was looking for was some, some sign that there might be a turnaround. And the first sign that I saw that uh, was kind of this little wick here on that five minute candle, but wasn't sure. Uh, but where, where I really started to see this turnaround was um, this candle here, which meant that um, smart money was starting to buy, and then there's also you can see the smart flow line was starting to move above zero, which is a great sign that all of a sudden smart money, uh, institutional money is starting to buy into TSLA. The other thing I saw here was this negative um, momentum, um, and when you see that, um, when it's juxtaposed near some red candles, that often means that market makers will actually start to push this higher as the day goes by. So those are two indicators there that made me go along right in here. I think you're right about this candle or the next one. And I just held because I saw the smart money going above zero. So that hold that um, up into this pop. I recognize this 190-ish as an area of resistance and just sold into that resistance. Pretty uh, pretty smooth sailing on that trade today. Um, what I wanted to do though too is take a look at yesterday. Because uh, this one was kind of interesting, this this like this like severe dip. And it, and then I would say like if you start to see um, any stock, but of course Tesla, like just plummeting like this. Don't, don't try to, you know, catch the falling knife here. Um, so what we did see was Tesla falling right at the open, and then they. What were the keys uh, for for reversal here? One was this large dark pool um, that came in here. Another one was this negative momentum that came in here. Uh, this positive call strike was not not so hot um, but I did have some kind of clue this seemed like a very uh, interesting area where all of a sudden buyers uh, we could see with this doji candle or not this doji candle here this hammer candle here buyers were stepping in 
Um, I think on this day, I also took a look at the same time, at the same moment, at um, one of the Tesla proxies I mentioned, TSLY. And the cool thing is with TSLY, um, which is yield max, uh, you could see all of a sudden there was all of this institutional interest right at the bottom of that ham hammer candle. So sometimes, you know, the, the stock of Tesla and these proxies, you know, are, are, are related, but these proxies can be really telling. Somebody wanted big into Tesla on that hammer candle in this proxy. Um, so I saw that. Um, and then made a conclusion to enter in go back to the Tesla chart. Enter in after these red candles subsided, and we started to see see uh, retail. You know, retail got interested here, and then big smart money here, uh, and then also this this consolidation. I actually held through all this consolidation, which is kind of unusual on Tesla. This is more of like a Amazon or penny stock kind of play that weird consolidation, which I, I don't typically like because you never know which way it's going to break. But we were trading above, um, above zero, and I believe we actually had positive, positive options that day. Let's see if there's history on that. No, just a lot of put blocks, but put blocks are good because what that means is that, um, actually that there's a lot of support for the stock. You can see around 109, there were some call blocks. Yeah, just kind of mixed trading. But the the real tail was in TSLY as well as in the smart money being above zero for me anyway. Um, let's just take a couple look, a look at a couple other days this week. I think Monday was particularly exciting. Yeah, here, here again is like don't if you see Tesla doing this, I mean, maybe maybe you love shorting stocks. Um, I typically don't because I never know. You never know when it's going to stop and bounce and destroy your account. And here's that, uh, that big positive momentum, which means that, yes, this has the ability to fall. So we fell, 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 fell. And, you know, the question is, is was this little consolidation here at the bottom. And one thing that we saw here uh, was some smart money coming in. Um, and then we also see PD, which is I also use with Tesla. And see right as PD ends, price discovery, right about here. Uh, and we get this little um, negative momentum candle, which is actually means the stock might go positive. Again, nice little place to think about entering. And wow. I mean that's like a that's like a six dollar move I and mean, that's, that's like awesome. Uh, we can also take a look at the proxy that day, see how that did. Um, yeah, the proxy isn't so telling, uh, but you can see again, like with Tesla, at least somebody stepped in and was buying here, and there was also the little little uh, negative M, boom. Um, why don't we take a look at another proxy just for fun? Let's like, look at TSLL. I'm not as telling or TSLS, which is like the opposite. Yeah, uh, TSLS, which is basically trading the opposite direction. That's actually kind of cool. You see it right, right as we enter this little consolidation phase we see this negative momentum spike, which means that we're looking for TSLL, which is the inverse to actually start going down. And that's exactly what it did. So um, a lot of times when I'm looking at Tesla intraday, I will look at all of these proxies and see what they're doing, um, see what they're doing intraday uh, to look for when that reversal will happen. Um, Fortunately, there wasn't a big day this week with golden sweeps and all the other fun features that uh, Big Short has. I'll take a quick look just to see if that was anything like that this week. Uh, here's a golden sweep here, but it didn't 
didn't amount to much. Um, sometimes when you're trading Tesla, you'll see these these big golden sweeps come in, and then um, you'll see positive movement there. But this one just uh, just concluded with like the price didn't fall. Uh, these nice uh, put spikes here are very indicative of either stable market condition like this, um, or sometimes just a rally happens after that. I'd be interested to see what Tesla did the next day after that. Yeah, you can see actually the next day after that uh, golden spike, we actually did have that rally up. Um, well, that's it. Uh, thanks for hanging out and talking about Tesla. And uh, if you're interested in Big Short, there's some links below. Um, click and uh, check out Big Short. All right, take care.